have you here at school today and hope you have a good day. I have a couple of announcements and then I'll turn the announcements over to uh, Mr. Uh, Jones. I want to emphasize to the students, uh, starting today, if you uh, tell us that you're going to eat in the a la carte line or the type A lunch line, then we want you to follow those procedures. Uh, our lunch count is over uh, 100 every day that is uh, off and we're uh, concerned uh, with the amount of food that's being prepared that one line uh, might run out. So we're going to first of all ask you to uh, follow that count and uh, if that doesn't work then we've got some other procedures uh, ready to go to uh, make sure that it does work. We'd like to uh, try it uh, at this point uh, to make sure that you can do it and uh, I think you can. Second announcement, I uh, want to invite the team captains, uh, the captains that will be uh, working with us uh, during lunch, uh, during our after, uh, after lunch time there. We want to invite you to come down tomorrow so that your teams can see uh, who uh, you are. This time I'd like to uh, turn the announcements over to Mr. Uh, Jones. Good morning. I'd like to encourage all students to be sure and attend the volleyball contest this evening at Syracuse. Uh, our 7th, 8th grade girls will be competing. This time, uh, Jason Shoemaker, 7th grade student, will come and lead our school in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, we thought we'd add a little uh, uh, life and uh, spice uh, to our announcements. I think we are. We do need to send a message at uh, this point to our science uh, uh, area. The TVs that were installed, I do not think, are set. So if some of the teachers will go over uh, that have uh, sets in their rooms, uh, go over and check with those teachers. You will have to move those classes uh, one more day. We'll wait about 10 seconds uh, for that uh, to happen. Uh, we'll ask uh, Mr. Uh, Friesen Carper to give us about uh, 30 more seconds of, uh, of some uh, good music here. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will be uh, adding some new features as uh, the days go by. We are going to run over just a minute on our uh, advisory time this morning. We would ask the students to remain in the classes until our announcements are finished. I have one announcement, and then I will turn the announcement over to uh, Mr. Jones. Would like to remind the students uh, and the staff we will have uh, visitors in the building this afternoon. The uh, Northern Indiana Regional uh, Services Center uh, group will be here. We'll have approximately 40 to 50 visitors 
uh, touring our building uh, this afternoon from about 1.30 till 3 o'clock. So we would like to ask everyone to uh, be aware of, uh, of our visitors and to do a good job for us. At this time, Mr. Jones uh, will uh, bring our announcements to us. Thank you, Mr. DeWeese. The uh, first uh, thing we'd like to have is the uh, team leaders for this week to come forward, introduce themselves, and let us know what grade they're in. We'll begin with our sixth grade team leaders, then seventh, then eighth. Sixth grade. Hi, I'm Ben Plicker, and I'm team captain for sixth grade for this week. Hi, I'm Tim Mullins, I'm team captain for this week. I'm Jennifer Ganshorn, and I'm team captain for this week. I'm Shrad Nethaway, and I'm sixth grade team captain for this week. I'm Todd Wells, and I'm one of the team captains for the seventh grade this week. I'm Cheryl Hoffer, and I, I'm team captain for this week. I'm Keith Galloway, and team captain for grade eight this week. I'm Tony Ganshorn, I'm team captain for grade eight this week. Hello, I'm Star Grady. I have an announcement for cheerleading. The Wawasee Knight cheerleaders encourage you to sign up for an 8th grade fan bus traveling to Wakarusa next Tuesday, October 2nd. To ride the bus, it costs $1. 7th and 8th grade students are to sign up during their lunch hours. 6th graders are to sign up with Mrs. Eberly or Mrs. Willman. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stacy Crabb. The girls' 8th grade volleyball team was defeated last night by West Noble. 15 to 9, 15 to 10, Liz Ringler led the team with 10 points. Misty Gorbett had 26 passes and Brandy Swope added 21. The seventh grade girls volleyball team lost its first match last night to West Noble with scores of 15 to 8, 14 to 15, and 10 to 15. The Knights were led by Stacy Crabb and Julia Thornburg with nine serving points and Susan Setlick with five spikes. All of the girls showed a lot of discipline as they worked to have three hits each time. The Knights are in action again Thursday at Wakarusa. Hi, I'm Joshua Bess. This Thursday, the chess club will have its first meeting. Any 6th, 7th, or 8th grade student may come to the meeting. The chess club will meet in Mr. Hafner's room, 26B, immediately after school until 5.30 p.m. All students could then ride a bus to Milford, North Webster, or Syracuse to be picked up by their parents. You can sign up in the comments before school tomorrow or Thursday at the Big Chess Summit. Thank you, Josh. At this particular time, we'll have Carrie Brown come and lead the school in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll ask all the students in the area here to please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Carrie. I'd like to welcome everyone to a uh, bright and uh, nice and beautiful uh, Wednesday morning. I want to uh, compliment everyone yesterday. We got several uh, compliments from our visitors uh, who were here. Uh, we had a good program uh, yesterday afternoon for uh, approximately 60 uh, visitors uh, here in the building and uh, compliment the students on the job that they uh, did. I'd like to uh, turn the announcements now over uh, to Mr. Jones. Good morning. I'd like to give the results last evening of our cross-country meet in Warsaw. The girls defeated Warsaw, and their record now stands at 1-1. One and one. The boys were also victorious. The leading runners for girls were Allison Mills, Leslie Garner, Amy Coburn, and Jamie Emmert. For the boys, Tad Denton, Andy Bartlett, Brad Stiddens, and Justin Daughtery. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gina Holler, the 8th grade cheerleader. The WMS cheerleaders still need more people to sign up for an 8th grade fan bus traveling to Wakaroos to next Tuesday on October 2nd. To ride the bus, it costs $1. We must have 25 paid people by today. 
the 7th and 8th grade students are to sign up during their lunch hours. 6th graders are to sign up with Mrs. Everly or Mrs. Wellman. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ryan Schwamm. Last night, the 7th grade football team lost to an undefeated Elkhart West Side team by the score of 20 to 0. Tony Vanver. Last night, the 8th grade Knights traveled to Elkhart West Side for its opener. The Elkhart team was playing its fourth game in our first. Wallace lost 21-16. The Knights looked good in many areas. On defense, Vince Beasley had two interceptions and John Eater had two and a half quarterback sacks. Our touchdowns were scored by Tony Meek and Rich Nolan. Hard work and hustle was shown by the whole team. The next game is next Tuesday at Wakarusa. Be there. At this time, Sean Dillard will lead our school in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Some principal at Wallace Middle School to please come forward as our first presentation of the cross country trophy will be given by our students. Mr. Michael. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's quite an honor to accept this on behalf of Mr. DeWeese and myself and Mr. Jones. Uh, it's an honor to have the first trophy for Wallace e. Middle School. Hopefully we have many, many more coming our way. And I want to thank you for the fine effort and uh, good luck the rest of the season. All right. Thank you. I'd also like to remind the student body that our cross country team will be competing in the Manchester Invitational this Saturday, the meet begins at approximately 9.30. Any students that uh, would like to attend, be sure and uh, try to go and support these young people as they run on Saturday. At this particular time, we'll have our student come and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, I'm Zoe Akers. Will the student body please stand for the pledge? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students. I have one announcement for you this morning. In your last hour, class today, you'll be receiving the Wawasee Middle School October Parent Newsletter. I would encourage each of you to be sure and take it home, read through it, be sure that your parents have knowledge of what is found inside, would draw your attention to the fact that each of the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade teams have written paragraphs concerning the items that have been covered in their classes thus far this year. Also, you'll find a parent-teacher organization form in which your parents can join the PTO. Also, very important, there is a menu listed for October that you would be sure and want to take home also. Also found in the document will be the athletic contest that will take place during the month of October. So I would encourage you when you receive this the last hour of the day, be sure and take it home so that your parents can see it because each month we will be devising and sending home a parent newsletter for your parents to be informed about what is taking place here at Wallace Middle School. This time we'll have a special announcement from the volleyball team. Hi, I'm Julie Leedy from the 8th grade volleyball team. The 7th grade volleyball team lost to a good Wakarusa squad last night. 
with the scores of 15, 10, 15, 7. Julia Thornburg led in serving with 10 good serves and two aces. Dana Reinhold had 20 good sets, and Janae Peterson had three spikes. The Knights record is now two wins and two losses. The 8th grade volleyball team came up short last night in a tough match with Wakarusa, 15-1, 15-13. Missy Corbett and Liz Ringler each had two serving aces, and Brandy Swope made 26 good passes. The Knights are in action again Monday against South Whitley. Come to Syracuse Elementary and cheer the team on. The game starts at 4.30. Thank you. At this time, we're going to ask Mr. Friesenkarper to come for a special announcement, and I would encourage all students to listen very carefully. Mr. Friesenkarper. Thank you, Mr. Jones. There are several difficult things about being in a new school. We don't have our gym finished, the music rooms aren't done, but there's some great things about that too. And one of the things is establishing the traditions that will make this a wonderful place to go to school. One of the things that we need for that tradition is a school song. And you're gonna be seeing little pieces of paper like this showing up around the school. Each one of the teachers will have one of these in their mailbox. This gives you a little bit of information about a contest that we're going to have that is going to involve you and your efforts to create a school song. What we're asking students to do is to create a lyric of eight lines that would be rhymed and would have something to do with Wawasee School. You may want to think about the uh, school colors. You may want to think about the school mascot. Uh, those kinds of things should be something that uh, is a regular metrical poem uh, similar to what uh, you can hear in other school songs. We're going to ask you to turn in those efforts that you make to Mr. Blackwell, Mr. Sand, or to myself by Friday the 12th of October, that's uh, a week from next Friday, and there will be a volunteer committee made up of faculty members, students, and perhaps administration that will review those and give them to the music teachers to make a final selection and create a school song. Who knows, maybe we'll be the first middle school to have our school song on uh, uh, U93. So get those uh, pencils out and uh, come up with a, a school song, and you can check for the details on this little piece of paper. Thank you. Hi, my name is Casey Stump, and would you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, allegiance to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Chris Sahagan. I'm team captain for the Comets this week. Hello, my name is Kim Jackway. I'm captain for the Comets this week. I'm Nicholas Winter. I'm team captain for the Paul Knights. Hello, my name is Cassie Clicker, and I'm team captain for Apollo Knights. Hi, I'm Amanda Beer, and I'm team captain for the Galactic Gladiators this week. Hi, I'm Jill Shaw, and I'm team captain for Galactic Gladiators this week. Good morning, students. We have several announcements this morning. The Chess Club will meet this Thursday after school. They will meet in Mr. Hafner's room. The meeting will conclude at 515. Also, last evening, the 8th grade girls volleyball team Took South Whitley to three games, but came up short. Scores were 15 to 12, 12 to 15, and 8 to 15. Leaders for the Knights were Lisa Church with 18 passes, Amanda Ertle with four good spikes, and Missy Corbett with nine service points. Hi, I'm Tiffany Mullins, an eighth grade cheerleader. We are selling van bus tickets during lunch for the football game against Lincoln. October on October on Tuesday, October 9th. Sixth graders can get tickets from Mrs. Eberly and Mrs. Willeman. Tickets cost a dollar. Come help us cheer our team on. Thank you. My name is Samantha Collins and I'm a sixth grade volleyball person 
and the sixth grade volleyball team played at Triton Junior High School last night. The Knights ran away with the first game winning 5-11. to 11. The Triton Ju Trojans came back to win two, two win games, two and three. The second match, the Knights ran up against the tough Triton team. Last and the last and lost in two games, 15 to six and 15 to four. Also last evening, the seventh grade volleyball girls defeated South Whitley in two contests, 15 to five and 15 to nine. Julia Thornburg led the Knights in serving with 20 serves and four aces. Dana Reinholt, Chandra Matthew led in sets with four and seven. This time, Mr. DeWeese has an announcement. I want to announce something uh, that was decided on this morning uh, with our leadership team that we think is uh, very exciting. We are going to offer uh, to the advisory group uh, that has the most uh, members uh, join our PTO, we are going to offer that group the first privilege uh, to swim uh, in our swimming pool. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, a situation where we're inviting all of our advisory groups uh, to get involved in getting uh, PTO uh, members, uh, 50 cents per member, but the overall advisory group uh, that wins in the school will have uh, 30 minutes of free swimming uh, in the swimming pool and you will be uh, the first and we'll give you a little uh, publicity uh, to go along with that. I want to remind the teachers that after our announcements this morning to be sure and send in uh, your envelopes uh, to the office with the uh, money that has been collected for PTO today, tomorrow, we will announce uh, what groups are in uh, what place uh, in uh, each grade level. Uh, each grade level uh, advisory group that receives uh, the most members uh, for that uh, grade level will receive uh, $10 uh, for that advisory group. This time we will have our pledge. Could all the students please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. This is Mr. Friesen Carper. The music that you've heard on Monday and Tuesday of this week was programmed by the electronic music classes. This morning we're back to our regular early morning music. Uh, I'd like to remind you of uh, the song contest that we're in the process. I already have a couple of entries here from Josh Bess, received a couple of entries from other students. If you're interested in having your lyrics considered for the school song, you need to get them in to us uh, this week or by the end of next week. And one other announcement that has to do with music. Those of you who would be interested in playing the string bass, I will be starting a string bass class on this coming Friday. And if you'd be interested in participating in that class, please talk to me. I'm interested in looking for people who have uh, already some ability reading music. And uh, I'm here during the first three hours of the day. Thanks. This is Tony Maloney from the football team. Wallace Sea, eighth grade, won their first ever football game against the Fon Walker Usa team yesterday, 12 to eight. All the Knights played well. Rich Dolan and Robert Daly scored touchdowns. Lead, leading the way on defense was Keith Galloway and Daniel Savage. Next game is played Tuesday at Plymouth Lincoln. Si sign up for, to ride the fan bus and watch Knights football. wish to remind each of our advisories that today, immediately at 8.15, you should forward to the office all of the PTO forms and any money for students that have uh, signed parents, grandparents, or neighbors up for our PTO membership drive. Hi, I'm Maury Freeman. Would the student body please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Um, have one more announcement. Hope you haven't uh, turned your sets off. Want to announce who is leading in our uh, PTO membership drives. Uh, right now in sixth grade, Mrs. Williman's uh, advisory group is in uh, first place. In the seventh grade, Mr. Hershberger's uh, group is in first place. And uh, in uh, eighth grade, Mrs. Harris' uh, group is in uh, first place. Now we're going to tally those, and tomorrow we'll give you a report for each grade level and then the overall leader for the school right now. Again, we want to remind all the advisory groups that we will uh, be offering a 30-minute free swim for the advisory group that gets the most uh, members to join our PTO. Thank you. Here is something you didn't know about me when I was... morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to our announcements and uh, have a couple of announcements I'd like to share and then uh, Mr. Jones has some other announcements uh, lined up for you. I think right now our big news, uh, what we're trying to encourage is the sign up for PTO. We are hoping that the students are out trying to get uh, everyone to sign up to be a member of our PTO. I think there was some question as far as uh, responsibility as far as a member is concerned. Uh, some uh, were thinking that if you signed up or joined our PTO that, that, that you had to uh, had a s certain job or responsibility uh, that goes along with that membership and that, that is uh, incorrect. Uh, we would like for parents uh, to get involved, but there is no uh, particular responsibility that goes along with the uh, membership. At this time, I'd like to uh, share with you uh, the leaders right now. And uh, in the sixth grade, we have uh, Mrs. Uh, Willeman's uh, advisory group is still leading. Uh, they have uh, seven, and uh, we're... Uh, hoping that that's going to change here real quick now as we come down to our last few days. Uh, Mrs. Um, Brannock in the seventh grade also have seven. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Uh, Lant, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Son of Frank now is in the lead uh, in the eighth grade uh, with six. So uh, we're hoping that this is going to uh, change. We are uh, looking forward to having the advisory group that is our overall winner uh, have a uh, opportunity for a free swim in the uh, swimming pool. Thank you. One special announcement to uh, all students who are brought to school by either brothers or sisters or parents. It's very important from a safety standpoint that your parents or whoever brings you to school that they let you off at the back of the building. We are create, you are creating a situation at the front of the building with the buses attempting to unload students, and it's very, very important that you remember that you are to disembark at the back of the building and not the front of the building. We'd also encourage students, we're beginning today, to have a sign-up for our fan bus for next Wednesday when our 7th and 8th grade girls volleyball teams travel to Pearson. There'll be a sign-up in the cafetorium today, tomorrow, and Monday for students that wish to travel and support our girls' volleyball teams. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jevney Drake, a 7th grade cheerleader. The fan bus will be going to Plymouth next Tuesday. We did get 25 paid people by yesterday's deadline, and we still have a few seats available, so we will offer them to you today only. It's $1, and you can sign up during your lunch period. Sixth graders can go to Mrs. Everly or Mrs. Willeman. The seventh and eighth grade football players will be playing, so sign up to cheer your team on. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Hirsch. And I'm Rob Penny. We would like to invite you to the sixth grade football game this coming Friday, October 5th. 
It will be held at the Wallace e. High School. Kickoff is at 4 p.m. Admission is free, so come and cheer us on. Stu students, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have a special announcement concerning the Cavadiff family. There's a benefit that'll be tomorrow, all day Saturday, from 9 o'clock until 7 o'clock at Adventureland in North Webster. At the Adventureland, they'll have a raffle, dunk tank, slave auction, bake sale, stagecoach rides, and additional activities for young people. If you'd like to go and help this benefit, be sure and plan to attend. On Wednesday evening, our cross-country team had their last meet of the year. Both boys and girls were victorious against the Falcons of Fairfield. Their final record ended for the girls at 9-1 and, and for the boys 9-1. and one. We'd like to recognize certain participants. Allison Mills first, Leslie Garner second, Beth Coburn fifth, Jamie Emmert sixth, Val Vester eighth for the girls. For the boys, Tad Denton second, Brad Stidham's fourth, Justin Daugherty fifth, Kevin Bestial sixth, and Sean Hoffman seventh. We wish to congratulate our cross country team on an exceptional season, and especially for their contributing to the first trophy of our Wawasee Middle School. The sixth grade football game will be held at Wallasey High School tonight. Kickoff is at 4 o'clock and admission is free. The game will end at 5, so come and cheer us on. This girl's seventh grade volleyball team lost last night to Westview in three games, 14-16, 15-8, and 5-15. Susan Setlack led in passing with 15 good bumps, Dana Reinhold had six service points and five aces, and Julia Thornburg, Amy Pritchard, and Chandra Matthew all had four aces. The eighth grade girls volleyball team was victorious last night in an exciting match with Westview. The scores were 15-8, 12-15, 15-8. Leaders for the Knights were Lynn Drulard with five spikes, Natalie Rabb with nine service points, and Liz Ringler with 10 service points and eight aces. All the girls played a super match. The Knights traveled to Thorn Creek to play on Monday night. We have one more announcement and then we'll have our pledge. Uh, hope that uh, everyone is enjoying a uh, demonstration of the technology that we have uh, going in this building. Uh, we will have the capability to uh, broadcast a uh, activity outside, a uh, soccer game or something, uh, whatever we uh, want to uh, put on our in-house uh, uh, channel, we have that capability. Hope you're uh, enjoying that this morning. We uh, want to uh, announce the PTO membership drive uh, leaders right now. We have um, in the eighth grade, we have uh, Mr. Santa Frank's uh, room uh, leading the eighth grade. Uh, they have uh, 13 members. We have a tie in the sixth and seventh grade with uh, Mrs. Eberly's uh, room with 18 members and uh, Miss Ferguson's room with 18 members. Now we have extended the drive through Monday. Uh, Monday will be our last day. We are offering a free swim, a 30 minute free swim to the advisory group that has the most uh, in the school. Like to encourage uh, everyone to ask people to join our PTO and uh, get our PTO uh, off to a good start. At this time, if you will stand, we will have the Pledge of Allegiance. Travis Tanner, would you all stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Lord. Good morning. We'd like to welcome everyone to a new week. Want to start out our announcements this morning by uh, giving our results uh, on our membership drive as of uh, last Friday. Uh, we have uh, in uh, third place right now and first place as far as the sixth grade is concerned, uh, Mrs. Uh, Minton's uh, homeroom uh, advisory group. We have uh, second place, seventh grade, Mrs. Uh, Brannock's. Uh, advisory group and first place right now uh, Mrs. Lance uh, advisory group they have uh, 55 uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Brannock has 36 and Mrs. Minton has 33 the final uh, tally will be taken today like to uh, say that everything that's turned in today will count uh, on our uh, contest and we will be announcing uh, in the morning, the advisory group that will have uh, the uh, free swim uh, for, our, for our school. The other uh, groups that win for their grade level will receive $10 for their group. Mr. Jones. Good morning. Just a reminder of several of our athletic contests for this week. Today after school, our 7th, 8th grade girls volleyball teams will be traveling to Thorn Creek for their contest. Tomorrow, our 7th and 8th grade football team will be traveling to Plymouth. wish to remind all students that as of this date, we already have established a fan bus for the football contest tomorrow. If you still are interested, be sure and sign up at lunchtime. For our volleyball teams, we're attempting to get a fan bus for Wednesday's contest to Pearson. We have a few students who have signed up, but we still have not met our maximum number so if you're interested in traveling and supporting our 7 8th grade volleyball girls on Wednesday be sure and sign up today at this time our team captains from each of our grade levels will introduce themselves hi I'm Megan Fuller I'm sixth grade team captain for this week hi I'm Tony Nash and I'm sixth grade team captain for this week I'm Chris Luce, I'm team captain for the Gladiators. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Brenner, and I'm team captain for the Galactic Gladiators this week. Hi, I'm Josh Patterson, and I'm the team captain for the Galactic Knights. Hi, I'm Andy Maloney, and I'm team captain for Team 5 this week. I'm Fred Krebs. I'm team captain for Team 5 this week. The sixth grade football game was held uh, at the Wallsey High School Friday night, and the score was 0-0, zero to zero, but both teams had a great time. Hi, I'm Josh Patterson. Could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Test, test. Hi, I'm Jason Carrington, and I'm team captain for the Galactic Gladiators. Hi, I'm Margaret Sol, and I'm team captain for Team 3. Hi, I'm Joshua Patterson, and I'm team captain for the Galactic Knights. Hi, I'm Andrew Maloney, and I'm team captain for Team 5. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Ward, I'm team captain for Team 5. Hi, I'm Tony Ganser, and I'm team captain for Team 6, and... They're the Space Raiders. I'm Keith Galloway, team captain for Team 6 this week. I'm Nicole. And I'm Liz. And we're here to tell you about the baseball card club that's going to meet Wednesday in the cafeteria at 3 o'clock till 5 o'clock. Mr. Jorzak brought in a couple cards for us to show you. Look, Nicole. This is Michael Jordan. What's a rookie? I don't know. Here's another one. Well, then he probably doesn't need this one. Hey, Nicole, what's this? That's Mickey Mantle. Well, where is he? Well, I thought he was kind of cute, so I decided to pin him on my shirt. Oh. And don't forget to come to Baseball Card 
sign up Wednesday and tell them. <laughs> Hello, I'm obviously not a team captain, but I'm too old for that. I have a soccer ball in one hand, a basketball in the other hand. That's because I have two announcements to make. One about soccer, I want you to, to remind the soccer players that tomorrow night is our last soccer meeting of the year. We're going to have about an hour and 15 minute scrimmage, and then we're going to Noble Romans for pizza, free pizza. If you've attended at least half of our practices, you're eligible for that free pizza. And then the basketball. Basketball practice for 7th and 8th grade boys is going to begin this Thursday, after school, the 7th graders will be going at North Webster, and the 8th grade will be going at Syracuse. And we'll have tryouts Thursday, Friday of this week, and then Monday and Tuesday of next week to see who makes the team. Oh, by the way, we still have a football game left tomorrow night, so you guys that are on the football team, don't worry about basketball until at least Wednesday. Uh, let's go to Warsaw and kick a little behind tomorrow night first. Thanks. Hi, my name is Nicole Sear. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Certain individuals this morning for accomplishments in their classrooms the winners of last week's math problem contest for the comments were Rob Penny, Megan Fuller, and Ori Freeman. Also, the Apollo Knights, Chris Brenniger and Samantha Collins won the completed homework contest, the drawing for October 8th through 12th, and they've won a quarter pounder or a Big Mac from McDonald's. This time we'll have an announcement for our volleyball team. The seventh, and the seventh grade girls volleyball team was defeated by Edgewood last night in two games, 15-8 and 15-5. Poor serving and lack of anticipation contributed to the loss. Leading the Knights were Julia Thornbrook with six service points and Chandra Matthew with five. Janae Peterson had five, six spikes. The eighth grade girls volleyball team lost a tough match with Warsaw, 15-2 and 15-8. Leading the Knights were Liz Ringler with eight service points, Amanda had, Amanda Ertle had seven good sets, and Missy Corbett had 14 good passes. The 7th and 8th grade teams traveled to Plymouth tonight to play Lincoln Junior High. Anyone who returned a completed yearbook form should attend the meeting after school Wednesday at 4 o'clock in Mrs. Harris' room, 59C. Hi, Mr. Jorzak here with my two favorite girls, Nicole and Liz, <laughs> and we wanted to tell you a little more about the baseball card club tomorrow. It will be in the cafetorium after school from 3 to 5. Uh, we will quit at 5. You'll need a ride home. Uh, we will be trading, so you don't want to bring any of uh, your valuable cards. Uh, you might misplace them. You might lose them. You wouldn't want to lose anything valuable. So I do want to emphasize we're going to try to trade. I want to discourage buying and selling. Uh, we just want everyone to come have a good time trading. I also have this Michael Jordan card left over from yesterday that uh, I'll be willing to trade uh, tomorrow with anyone. Mr. Jorzak? Yes? I could really use this in my home ec project. That's my favorite tie. <laughs> and she can't cut it. Well, we do want you... And there goes my last card. We do want you to try to be there tomorrow. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Brenner. Students, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and Elizabeth with liberty and justice for all. We had 18 passes on 36 attempts for 171 passing yards, 
included two touchdown passes. Andy Christoffel caught six passes for 45 yards, including two passes for a touchdown. Josh Lambert caught five passes for 64 yards. Aaron Kreider caught three passes for 41 yards. Jeff Watson caught two passes for 19 yards. Ryan Michael and Nate Shoemaker caught one pass each. Aaron Kreider led the in tackles with 12. Jeff Hodson had six tackles. Andy Christoffel, Tony Selick, Kevin Price, Nate Shoemaker, Ryan Michael, Rob Burke, and Joe Shewington all had four tackles each. The eighth grade Wallace Knights football team finished their first season with three wins and one loss. Last night was a total team effort effort winning over Warsaw Lakeview 28-16. Leading the way on defense were Dan Savage, Vince Beasley, John Turco, and Tony Maloney. The offensive line did a fine job, so Rich Nolan and Keith Galloway could each score two touchdowns apiece. Each team number is to be congratulated for their hard work. The seventh grade girls volleyball defeated Lincoln Junior High last night in three exciting games, 10-15, 16-14, and 15-9. The team lead leaders for Wawasee were Susan Setlack with five spikes and Amy Pritchard and Chandra Matthew with eight points scored. All 12 team members worked hard and pulled together, especially in the second game when they were behind. The seventh grade record now stands at five and five. The girls eighth grade volleyball team lost last night to an unbeaten Plymouth in two games. Leading Wawasee were Missy Corbett with six spikes and Brandy Swope with eight good passes and Adina May with seven. The Knights travel to Northridge Thursday for the final game of the season. Mrs. Eberly, Mrs. Woolman, and the cheerleaders would like to thank all of the fans at last night's football game. Your support and enthusiasm were greatly appreciated. Students riding the fan bus displayed excellent behavior on the bus at the game and at McDonald's where we stopped for supper. We're looking forward to a great night's basketball season. My name is Joey Stump. Would students please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For you this morning, the 7th and 8th grade basketball tryouts will begin today. 7th grade students should remain in the cafetorium immediately after school. You'll be traveling to North Webster for your first day's tryouts. 8th grade boys should also remain in the cafetorium. You'll be traveling to Syracuse for the 8th grade boys basketball tryouts. We'd also like to welcome to our school a student teacher that will be teaching for the next eight weeks with uh, Mr. Reimers. The person's name is Miss Riff. We welcome her to our school. Also like to remind all students that tomorrow will be the last day in which grandparents may come and eat lunch with uh, their grandson or granddaughter, and we would encourage you to ask them to come and enjoy, join with us for lunch on either today or tomorrow. At this particular time, we'll have our student come and lead for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, my name is Alicia Vallejo, and would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At approximately 10.55, so I would encourage you to remind parents that you will not be having lunch on those days and that each of those days are half days of school. This time we have an announcement from our volleyball team. The seventh grade girls volleyball team lost last night to Heritage last night, 15-1, 15-12. Scoring the leaders for the night were Julia Thornburg, Susan Sutlack with four points. Jane Peterson had six good spikes. This was their last final game of the season. The girls finished with five wins and six losses. The, eighth, the girls' eighth grade volleyball 
team took Heritage to three games last night before losing 3-15, to 15-10, and 5-15. to 15. Leading the Knights were Brandy Swope with four spikes, Liz Ringler with eight service points, and Missy Corbett with 15 passes. All the girls worked hard this year and represented Wabasi very well on and off the court this season. There will be a volleyball party after school on Monday in the Commons from 3 to 5. Bring $2 and see you there. Hi, I'm Tina Lane. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Or agrees. <laughs> Good morning, students. First announcement today will be from Mrs. Ringler. She would like to have all of her students ha that have been in her enrichment programs to be sure and meet in the old art room in order to secure projects to take to the new art rooms. We'd also like to remind students that if you're participating in extracurricular athletics, if you have not secured your physical you must do so before you can participate in any athletic contest for the basketball seasons. Congratulations to the following students who have qualified for all region orchestra to be held at Valparaiso on November 17th. Jamie Farber, Casey Hoverman, Sherrod Nethaway, Jeremy Plummer, Emily Slaybaugh, Val Valerie Vester, Amy Coburn, Joe Meyer, Josh Patterson, Matt Perry, Melissa Sparks, Karen Ummel, Susie Rittenauer, Bethany Coburn, Robin Kahn, Tim Halton, Ben Yoder, and Amy McCullough. At the end of the September, the language arts classes from the Galactic Gladiators wrote letters to the United States servicemen and women stationed in Saudi Arabia. We are beginning to receive replies and would like to share them with the student body. Hello, how are you? I am, my name is Jim Hickman. I am 21 years old. I'm a U.S. Marine military policeman. I'm from Chapel Hill, Tennessee. I've been in the Marine Corps for two years. Normally, I'm stationed in El Toro, California. I would like to personally thank you for your support. All the support we receive from back home gives us a feeling of pride and reminds us why we are here. I thought that I would not take the time to return your letter. Write back soon as Mayo makes our days a little better. It's always nice to know someone cares. Take care, be good, and stay, study hard. Keep the... I'm looking forward to hearing you f from you soon. Your friend, Jim Hickman. Hi, my name is Casey Stump. Dear student, how are you doing? Good, I hope. My name is Ken Heaton. I'm a corporal in the United States Marines. Originally, I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas, but my unit is stationed out of Cherry Point, North Carolina. I like running and bodybuilding. I'm glad to hear your support on our action. It feels good to be reassured, especially from young men as yourself who are starting to discover the world. I haven't seen The Simpsons too much, but I used to like Cheers. Been a while since I last saw the show, though. It is starting to be okay over here. I am currently attached to the MUSS 373 PMO, which is military police. We're assigned to base security. Terrorism is a big thing over here. As for my favorite car, I have a white 71 Nova SS. Thanks again for your support, my fellow Marines, and I appreciate it. Hello, I'm Andrew Leinbach. Would students please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's been two months. I uh, welcome you to our announcements. We delayed our announcements this morning because we wanted to close out our school uh, morning uh, with the announcements. I've asked uh, Ms. Beck, our guidance counselor, uh, one of our guidance counselors, to uh, just kind of sum up uh, in uh, a couple of the statements concerning our Red uh, Ribbon Week. We have uh, had a good uh, week. It's been a short week, but we uh, have had uh, some good things uh, happen uh, during our week and uh, want to uh, just uh, sum that up uh, with uh, Ms. Beck at this time. Well, first of all, we'd like to thank all of you, uh, especially the students that wore the red armbands on Monday, but thank all of you for your participation in Red, week, red Ribbon Week 1990. Um, it meant a lot to us, a lot today, to see so many red skirts, red pants, red sweaters. Um, I think that shows a lot of support. Uh, we'd also like to ask that you really take that choice seriously and choose to not use drugs or alcohol. Hopefully this week has made you more aware of the dangers of using drugs or alcohol and the, um, the kind of negative effects that your involvement can have. Anyway, thanks for your participation. Thank you, uh, Ms. Beck, and uh, also uh, I would like to extend my thanks to the staff and to the students that participated. Uh, we did uh, fail uh, on my part to announce that today was uh, Wear Red Day. We are glad that many students uh, uh, did uh, participate and uh, show off uh, the red uh, with my red tie. So uh, we're all behind our students and hope that you will uh, say no to these things and not be looking back on something uh, later on that, that uh, could have been uh, prevented. want to, I'm sure we all don't need this reminder, but uh, in case we've got one or two uh, thinking that we're going to have school tomorrow, I want to remind everyone that school will be closed uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, we get uh, to celebrate our, our fall break. Uh, during this time, uh, the building will... Uh, We'll have uh, some additional workers here on the site. We hope uh, to uh, have some additional uh, changes uh, when you come back. We're looking forward to getting our uh, industrial tech, communications room, home ec, uh, uh, labs uh, uh, completed. This, uh, there's a real concentrated effort right now into getting those areas uh, finished uh, for our open house and uh, be a lot of uh, work uh, going on uh, while we break. They're going to be working on our stage and uh, hanging the stage curtains and uh, as you leave uh, this afternoon or this morning uh, we are uh, in the process of uh, filling the planter uh, out front uh, with uh, dirt and then that will be uh, uh, finished with uh, coping stones. We have uh, our two uh, nights uh, that will be moved uh, this uh, next couple of days, and we'll have those in place uh, hopefully Monday. We'll be doing uh, some uh, final touch-ups uh, on uh, the nights, but they will be in the main entrance, and we think we'll have a very impressive uh, entrance uh, into the school when those nights are uh, put in place. Uh, I, the rest of our day will, uh, for teachers, uh, we will be having uh, a uh, salad bar uh, for you. Um, and we'll start uh, approximately 11 o'clock and uh, to 11.30. Parent conferences will start at 11.30 uh, till 3.30. I want to wish everyone a good and safe fall break. Uh, appreciate the continued support of everyone uh, here at Wallace C. Middle School. Thank you very much. Good morning, students. We have several announcements this morning. The first one deals with our chess club, which will be meeting this Thursday in Mr. Hafner's room until 5 o'clock. 
Once again, remind students that if you are interested in chess and have not attended yet, there is still room for addis additional chess players. That's this Thursday in Mr. Hafner's room until 5 o'clock. We'd also like to remind 7th and 8th grade girls who are interested in 7th and 8th grade girls basketball, your first tryout will be one week from tomorrow, Wednesday. The coaches will be evaluating players for approximately three or four days and then making decisions on the final team members. Thank you. I want to announce a special program that we've got coming up today at 11 o'clock. We're going to assemble outside in the front of the school and we're going to have the first raising of the flag for Wallace C. Middle School. We've got uh, kind of a special uh, program planned for our students. Uh, the program will last uh, approximately 30 minutes. And uh, Mrs. Holler, uh, this is Congressman uh, John Holler's uh, wife, will be uh, here to present the school with a flag that has been uh, flown over uh, the Capitol in Washington. I want to ask the students uh, to do a good job today uh, our last assembly program, we had uh, many, many uh, compliments uh, concerning the conduct of the students, and I know uh, today you will uh, do uh, equally as well. At uh, approximately 10 minutes before uh, time to go outside, we would ask the 7th and 8th grade to go uh, to their advisory groups and at 11 o'clock or about 5 till 11 uh, start coming outside so that we can get the program uh, set up. Uh, again, we will have this program uh, at 11. Uh, we have uh, the band members, eighth grade band members. We need to be uh, dismissed at 1030 uh, today uh, so that they uh, can get set up for the program. At this time, we'll have our pledge. Would the students please stand for the pledge? I'm Lori Freeman. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. as we bring the flag up for the first time. We are pleased to have a congressman represented here today, a U.S. congressman, and um, Mr. Holler could not be with us, but Mrs. Holler could, and we're excited to having her here at Wallace Middle School. She will, uh, in a few moments, present the flag, but at this time, we're gonna ask the band uh, to play America the Beautiful, 
uh, as a uh, tribute and a, a special dedication uh, to our country. After the playing of America the Beautiful, then we will have uh, Mrs. Holler uh, come and address you at that time. Mr. Blackwell. I'm delighted to be here. Um, unfortunately, the congressman could not be here this morning, and I was just telling your principal, Mr. DeWeese, that actually his first love, I said it wrong, DeWeese. All right, my apologies. Um, Mr. See, we don't get everything right either. Um, Mr. DeWeese, that one of the things that Jack really loves to do is to come and speak to children in the middle school and high school and elementary schools because he is so inspired by all of you and actually you are the future of this country and he knows that our future lays in the hands of the children that stand before me today. He is honored that he had the opportunity to fly a flag over the United States Capitol for the Wawasee Middle School. And I would just like to read the certificate that goes along with it. Flag of the United States of America. This is to certify that the accompanying flag was flown over the United States Capitol at the request of the Honorable John Hyler, Member of Congress. This flag was flown for the Wawasee Middle School. Mr. DeWeese, got it right this time, kids? I'd like to present this flag to you to fly on your flagpole, and we are both, Jack and myself, are truly honored. Thank you very much. At this time, we will ask our students uh, to come. Uh, come. <laughs> okay. We're going to. Uh, Attach the flag, we hope. And as the uh, raising of the flag, uh, the band will uh, play the uh, national anthem uh, for us.
We would like to thank Mrs. Hyler for being here with us to uh, present the flag. We are uh, extremely pleased and proud to have this flag at Wallasey Middle School. Thank you very much for being here. We now must uh, get you back into the building. We would like to dismiss the seventh grade first so that we can get you uh, in uh, to the uh, lunch lines. And teachers, if you would, uh, let's uh, go uh, with the seventh grade, sixth grade, and then eighth grade. Thank you very much. Oh, it really was a pleasure. Kevin Klein, who Good morning, students. We have one announcement for our team.
morning, students. The first announcement will be made by Mrs. Lant. Good morning. I'm here to remind our middle school scholars that academic Super Bowl practice starts tomorrow at 3 o'clock in my room. Mr. Sonnenfrank and I have spent several weeks preparing for this first meeting. We really want our new school to do well in this state competition, and we look forward to meeting with students who signed up. So if you're one of those students, meet with us tomorrow in room 45C from 3 o'clock to 430. Tuesday, November 13th at Thorn Creek. You can sign up for the fan bus during lunch. Sixth graders see Mrs. Willman or Mrs. Everly. Please come to cheer, cheer our, our team, team on. on. Hi, I'm Margaret Soul. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students. We have several announcements to begin the morning announcements. Sixth and seventh grade students who had paper mache during the first enrichment block of time this year are to be sure and pick up your projects from Mrs. Ringler in the display window. Reminder to all advisories, cheese and sausage sale, we would ask that each advisor get a total of the amount that the students have sold up to today please present that to the activities office so that we can begin our chart and display it for tomorrow. We'd like to wish good luck to these four students, Allison Mills, Leslie Garner, Jamie Emmert, and Beth Coburn, as they travel to Indianapolis this Saturday to compete in the Junior Olympics cross country meet. At this time, Mr. Blackwell has an announcement. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to congratulate three of our students who were selected to the all-region junior high band this year, and they are Matt Stoll, Tricia Linville, and Scott Stewart. I'd also like to announce to all 7th and 8th grade band and orchestra members that we are offering a special enrichment called Small Group Instruction for the purpose of preparing you for solo and ensemble contests. And I know that you did not know this when you signed up for enrichments. The guidance people are allowing us until tomorrow at the end of the enrichment times to sign up people. So all of those who wish to take that, en that enrichment on Tuesday and Thursday uh, should tell Mr. Carper or myself uh, tomorrow morning. This does not include people who have choir on Tuesday and Thursday because that is an all-year course and cannot be changed. Mr. Carper has a few words that he'd like to say as well. A quick announcement for those of you who are going to the Valparaiso Orchestra Festival next week. We will be rehearsing this Saturday here at the middle school. Uh, eighth grade orchestra at 8.30 and sixth and seventh grade orchestra coming at 9.30. So please be here. We'll be finished by noon. have one announcement. I want to make sure that everyone understands the process in the afternoons as far as the bells are concerned. Any student, and this is in our student handbook, and it's just time, I guess, to review, but any student that is not riding a bus to go home is not to be dismissed from class until 2.55. Uh, this is very important if you're uh, staying to practice uh, basketball and riding one of the shuttle buses, if your parents are picking you up, if uh, uh, you're staying after school for a club or an activity, you are to remain in your classroom or in your team area until 2.55.
Again, we've got the seventh grade students that will be uh, going to their lockers uh, before exploratory time. Sixth grade will be going at 2.45. And sixth graders that do not need to go to the lockers, then you will go immediately uh, on and load the bus. Uh, and then at 2.50, the bell will ring or the tones will sound for the eighth graders. Thank you. Hi, I'm Deandra Schock, a seventh grade cheerleader. We are selling fan bus tickets to the Wallace C. and Thorn Creek game at Syracuse next Tuesday the 13th. Get them at your lunchtime. Sixth graders, see Mrs. Everly or Mrs. Williman. Please come and cheer our team on to victory. Hi, I'm Amy Chestnut with the student body. Please stand for the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in the level, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, all Notre Dame fans, to Friday's announcements. The first announcement from Mrs. Goshert, any girl that attended the high school cheerleading clinic may pick up their ribbons in her classroom. Star Klipfeld and Troy Hendricks received a McDonald's coupon for a large sandwich for getting their homework in for the week of October 15th through the 19th. Last week's winners for the homework drawing were Heather Wright and Brad Botts. They also received a McDonald's coupon. Congratulations from Team One, the Apollo Knights, for getting all of their homework in. We'd like to clarify one thing in regards to our cheese and sausage sale. In order to qualify for the skating trip, students must sell at least $25 worth of products in order to be able to go. There was some confusion in regards to the number of items or the amount sold in order to be able to go on the skating trip. We'd like to give you a estimated update of our cheese and sausage sale. For our eighth grade, their chart is roughly at $5,500. Would also like to indicate to all students that we are aware that there are many students that are not, give, not giving their actual amount sold so that uh, other students will not go and outsell them. So we uh, do appreciate the work that the eighth grade students are doing in the cheese and sausage sale. For grade seven, grade seven is at $6,500. I would uh, remind you that these are only estimates. And for grade six, they are at approximately $7,500. I would remind students that uh, my goal is to be over $30,000, and I believe that uh, as you turn in your packets on Monday, I believe that this final weekend, students will make a genuine effort to achieve that goal. This time, we have an announcement from Mr. DeWeese. Appreciate all of the uh, support that uh, Notre Dame fans are uh, uh, <laughs> giving, uh, we will uh, have our say at the end of the day uh, as uh, school is being dismissed, so everyone can look forward uh, to that. I um, want to remind everyone of our program coming up this afternoon, the awards program. like to ask all of our students to do a good job uh, in our program today. We've got some students we will be recognizing, and teachers, we uh, gave out, I think this morning, uh, put in your, mo in your boxes, the uh, schedule uh, for the program this afternoon. But we'd like to uh, move uh, that back about 10 minutes um, so that we'll have plenty of time to get in and get settled and uh, make sure that we've got time to complete all of our awards. We don't want to um, have to stop uh, when the uh, for dismissal and not be able to give out all the awards. So about 10 till 2, 
if we could uh, start moving uh, students down uh, and we'll get set up and get, get that show going uh, about uh, five minutes till two. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark Cobb. And I'm Rick Speakman. Listen, listen closely, this is no trash. Tomorrow, the sixth grade Apollo Knights are having a recycling drive from 8 to 12 a.m. We'll have a truck from Lewis Salvage in Warsaw to collect all of your recyclable materials. These include glass, plastic, plastics, newspapers, appliances, lead acid batteries, scrap metal, and beverage and food containers. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Instead, bring your recyclables to the one and only Apollo Knights Recycling Drive. Saturday, November 10th at the Wallace Middle School. You'll be glad you did, and you'll be in home in time to watch Notre Dame beat Tennessee. Hi, my name is Clarissa Dubois. Will the student body please stand for the pledge? I pledge the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice to all. My name's Stephen Thompson. I'm team captain for Team 2 this week. Hi, my name's Josh Brown. I'm team captain for Comets this week. Hi, my name's David Gibson. I represent the Galactic Knights 7th grade this week. Hi, I'm Karen Ummel. I'm for the Galactic Gladiators this week. Good morning. The announcements for today. In regards to our cheese and sausage sale, because of the tremendous uh, interest by the community would like to remind our advisory that we will collect envelopes from each advisory tomorrow morning rather than this morning. So if you have students that still have sales that they feel that they can make, we would ask that you be sure and collect all forms tomorrow morning. We would also ask that you be sure and have each salesperson write the advisor's name on the sales form. We will come around and collect the sales forms at the conclusion of the advisory period tomorrow morning. In our student activities office, we have numerous coats, jackets, sweaters, pocketbooks that have not been uh, claimed by students. Those that feel that they've lost an item, be sure and check in my office today. Tomorrow we will display all of these items on a table in front of the activities office. This week we have a 7th and 8th grade basketball game at Syracuse. The game is scheduled for tomorrow immediately after school. Game time is 4.30. Students that plan to attend, the admission charge is 50 cents for students and $1 for adults. At this time we will have our student come and lead our school in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, I'm Andy Chestnut. Would the student body please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty.
Good morning, students. We appreciate the tremendous turnout for our cheese and sausage sale. We would like to remind students that if you fail to turn in your folder this morning, that as you enter the building tomorrow morning, be sure and stop at the student activities office and turn your folder in there rather than to your advisory. At this time, we have two students to introduce themselves as team captains. I'm J.C. Wagner. I'm team captain for team one this week. I'm Brandy Dean, and I'm team captain for the Apollo Knights this week. Hi, I'm Nicole. And I'm Liz. And we're here to tell you about the baseball card club again. Nicole, why do I always have to wear these stupid outfits? Because we were supposed to be dressed as our personalities. And I'm Nicole, and you're the, um... The baseball card club is meeting tomorrow after school in the cafetorium from 3 to 5. So all you traders and... Now who's the cool one, Nicole? Will student body please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Well, okay, I want to uh, go over with you. We're still having some problems of uh, students un understanding that you're not to be dismissed until uh, if you're staying after uh, school for uh, practice or if your students are if you're a student that parents are picking you up uh, you're not to go to your locker or to be dismissed until the five till bell. So what we're gonna do, uh, we talked about this this morning in the leadership meeting, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the bell, the five till bell, till the buses are cleared, and then we will ring the bell for everyone else uh, to come out. So what that will mean is that uh, if you have been uh, cheating on us and sneaking out of class, we'll do a check uh, before we ring the bell and anyone that's in the building that uh, came out early then we'll be able to uh, see who you are so make sure that you do not uh, leave your area if you're a ball player or if you're uh, someone that is uh, waiting uh, for uh, your uh, parents to pick you up that you do not leave your area until you're dismissed uh, starting this afternoon with that bell. We will hold everything until the buses are cleared and then we'll ring a final. We'll uh, start with the, uh, with the uh, six row of music. Now this is all. Morning, students and welcome to our new TV video area today's announcements will be taking place here and also throughout the remainder of the school year two announcements we would like to remind students that are continuing to sell cheese and sausage be very important that you be sure and turn your folders in no later than tomorrow morning we need to mail them to the company and they will be mailed out at approximately 10 o'clock. Announcement from Mr. DeWeese. We will follow the same procedure as we did yesterday at dismissal. There will be a 245 tone. 
Also, eighth graders will be dismissed at 250. And then all other students will be dismissed over the PA system by Mr. DeWeese. Thank you. I'm Josh Brown. This is Tim Mons. The Comets are studying weather now in science. We would like to give you a weather update each morning for, for the next three weeks. The current temperature is 40 degrees. Barometric pressure is 995 millibars and rising. Humidity is 34%. There is very little cloud cover. Today will be sunny with temperatures in the 60s. Hi, I'm Annie Endicott, a seventh grade cheerleader. We are selling fan bus tickets for the home game at Syracuse next Monday the 19th. The cost is $1. You can buy tickets during lunch. Sixth graders see Mrs. Eberly or Mrs. Willeman. Admission for the game is 50 cents. Please come and cheer our team on. Hi, I'm Stacy Crabb. This announcement is for the members of the yearbook staff, Thursday, November 15th. Only staff members assigned to work on class pictures will be meeting. All other members will meet at a later date. The meeting is from 3 to 4 in room 59C. Please have a ride here promptly at 4 o'clock. I'm Jim Scarberry. And I'm Spencer Albersey. Seventh and eighth grade boys basketball team was open their season last, last evening with impressive victories over Thorn Creek. The seventh and eighth grade winning 34-16, the eighth grade 41-20. Both teams showed their pot potential to be real good teams if improvements are made in several areas. All members of both teams saw playing time in the first ever basketball games for the Wallace C. Knights. Both teams will have home games against Pearson tomorrow evening at North Webster Gym. Come and root for your Knights and they go for 2-0. Hi, Good morning. Um, I'm Mr. Michael and uh, I would like to uh, share with the staff. Uh, we are celebrating a very special week this week, American Education Week. And by this, we are recognizing uh, certain groups, groups that have an impact on this school and on students. Uh, today, we are recognizing faculty, par paraprofessionals, and volunteers. Uh, this morning, uh, Mr. DeWeese, Mr. Jones, and myself uh, served the staff breakfast in our new cafetorium. Um, and I would encourage students to do your part to stop by and say a kind little word to a teacher that you think very highly of. Uh, encourage that teacher, uh, leave them a note. Uh, make sure you recognize the teachers that you have during this day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tony Vandiver. I'm Travis Clark. And I'm Frank Slabo. With student body, please stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now on to the secretaries. They lead us and make us merry. They sure are such special gals, always cheerful in our pals. Mrs. Zemt and Mrs. Burke gladly help us with our work. Mrs. Ducey, she's so great, greets us with a smiling stare. The council lovers, they deserve a crown. They turn our crowns upside down. Mrs. Roberts and Miss Beck, they show us that they give a heck. Hey, look, the three amigos keeping us on our toes. Mr. Jones, God bless his bones, keeps us good for all the songs. Mr. Michael tracks the nights, keeping them two to right. Mr. Dweez, hey, y'all, keeps a watch on all the halls. This man has the final say, so you nice don't disobey. So from all of us to you, thank you for all the things you do. Yeah. <laughs> This announcement from the yearbook staff. The first Wallace Middle School yearbook will go on sale Tuesday, 
November the 20th, during an advisory period. The cost for the yearbook is $10. Your money should be taken to your advisory class with checks written and made out to Wawasee Middle School. We'd like to remind all students who have their picture retakes today, we will begin at approximately 8.15 by calling all 6th grade students to the Commons foyer. Once 6th graders are finished, we will proceed on with 7th and 8th grade students. Mr. DeWeese. I have one announcement. I want to uh, remind the students this afternoon, we're still working on our afternoon dismissal. Uh, yesterday, we had a tone go off at 2.55, and it was... Uh, uh, mistake. Uh, we've got to get those uh, uh, tones uh, worked on. We're doing the best we can at this point, but in the afternoon, uh, the students that do not ride a bus stay in your classroom until a PA uh, dismissal, final dismissal. Uh, thank you. Attention yearbook staff. Those students assigned to work with class pictures only will meet Thursday today at 3 o'clock in room 59C. The meeting will, be, will end at 4 o'clock. If you cannot attend, please see Mrs. Harris before then. Other staff members will meet at a later date. Hi, I'm Joe Schmidt. And I'm Jamie Korn. Here's today's Comet weather forecast. The current temperature is 56 degrees. The barometric pressure is 9... 195 and rising. The humidity is 73%. Today's weather will be really great. It will be sunny and warm with temperatures in the low 70s. Hi, I'm Liz Ringler. Linda Lard. Where's the do boys? Will the student body please stand for the pledge? Friday's announcements. I have a special announcement from Mr. Byers and the sixth grade class. Mr. Byers. Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to school on this uh, Friday of American Education Week. And it's my privilege today to tell you that today we want to recognize students and parents. Uh, the students today, each one, will be receiving a free ice cream item at lunchtime. So students, uh, make sure you get by the lunch counter there and pick up your free ice cream item today at lunchtime. And also remember our parents have been invited to share lunch with us today in the uh, cafetorium. In addition, next week uh, on Wednesday, all students in the afternoon will be uh, asked to return to your advisory and there will be a film shown over the video system next Wednesday afternoon and that's in connection with American Education Week in honor of our students. Educating everyone takes everyone, parents, teachers, and without students. Obviously, there would be no education. Welcome, students. We're glad you're here. And then from the Apollo Knights team in sixth grade, we're proud today to present 14 students who in the last nine weeks have completed every one of their assignments. All, everything is finished in every area. We're glad to present today a button to each one of these students, and the button says, Apollo Knight's homework. And then on the bottom it says, I did it all. And so we want to uh, present to 14 students today a button for that. We're going to ask them to wear it today and wear it proudly. They've done a good job. The first one is uh, Kara Hartup. 
Congratulations, Kara. The next one is Carl Hepler. Congratulations, Carl. Next one, Alicia Albersey. I have a little bit of a problem with that name every now and then. Congratulations, Alicia. Next one is Jill, Jill Meyer. I've got trouble with that name, too. Jill, congratulations. The next one is Allison Mills. Congratulations, Allison. Next one is Adelphia Harris. Congratulations. Uh, Stacy Richardson. Congratulations. The next one is Bethany Farrell. Congratulations. Next one is Mark Linebeck. Good job. Congratulations, Mark. Uh, Tiffany Miller. Congratulations, Tiffany. Uh, Julie Glenn. Congratulations. Next one, Cassie Flickard. Rick Speakman. And Abby Weiss. Abby Weiss. Congratulations, Abby. Thank you very much for a good job. Well done. Hi, I'm Rob Burke. And I'm Jeremy Walls. This is your Comets weather report today. Temperature is 57 degrees. Humidity is 64%. Barometer reading is 80, 989 millibars and falling. It's mostly cloudy. Today's weather will be partly cloudy. Temperatures in the high 50s to low 60s with chance of rain later today. Hi, I'm Mike Hay. I'm Ryan Michael. I'm Rob Penny. The Wawasee Middle School sixth grade red team was victorious yesterday in the A-team game against the West Noble Chargers, 36 to 25. Ryan Michael, Mike Hay, and Rob Penny led the team offensively, scoring 10, 12, 8 points respectively. The B-team did not fare so well. They were beaten 20 to 4 by West Noble. Top hustlers for the B-team were Jamie Korn and Jeremy Walls. Our next game is Monday, November 19th in Napanee. Hello, I'm Frank Seibach. I'm Tad Hutton. The seventh grade boys basketball team made it two in a row with a victory over Pearson yesterday, 27 to 14. In the first quarter, the boys ran out to an 8-0 lead and then sealed the win with a 12-point fourth quarter. The team continues to improve as it looks forward together to tougher opponents as the season goes on. The eighth grade team raised the record to do to two and zero with an impressive victory over Pearson by a score of 45 to 18. The team showed considerable improvement over their first game. Both teams have games against Central Noble at Syracuse on Monday. Come and cheer your Knights on to their third straight victories. Hi, we're Mr. Evans' advisory class with the student body. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Cool. All right. Ready, go. Good morning, students, and welcome to Monday's announcements. The first announcement is for all of our staff members. I wish to remind each one that our staff meeting tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in the lecture room. would also like to report the class winning cheese and sausage group. Uh, 
Each group sold a tremendous amount. Matter of fact, it was far exceeded what we expected. I will tell you that the total is over $40,000. And the winning class, the class that sold the most, was the eighth grade. Congratulations to the eighth grade. We will have final totals and the exact amounts scheduled to be placed on our cafetorium wall on Wednesday morning. At this time, our team captains will introduce themselves. Hi, my name is David Gibson. I represent Team 4 this week. Hi, I'm Tony Vander. I'm team captain for Team 5 this week. Hi, I'm Greg Burns. I represent, <laughs> represent Team 5 this week. Tomorrow morning, we would like to have the additional team captains that have not reported here this morning to be sure and come and introduce themselves. Therefore, the people at lunchtime are able to identify those people. This time, we'll have the weather report. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Stacy. This is your Comets weather forecast today. The current temperature is 40 degrees. The humidity is 62%. The barometric pressure is 996 millibars. Today will be another nice day for November. It will be partly sunny and in the 50s. Yearbooks will be sold during advisory beginning November 20th and ending November 30th. Cash or checks will be accepted for the $10 cost. Checks should be written to Wabasee Middle School. This will be a hardcover yearbook. Don't miss your chance to have the first WMS yearbook. At this time, we'll ask all of the student body to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance. <laughs> Good morning, students and staff. Welcome to Tuesday's announcements. would remind students that our cheese and sausage items will arrive next week. We will give you at least one day's notice so that uh, you can make preparations to deliver your products. We would remind students that although we have given official number count as far as dollars sold, this will all hinge upon the return of the items that uh, you have sold to the customer and you're returning the money to the school. Thus, we will make our final tabulation sometime within the next two weeks. Thank you. I'm team captain for team six this week. I'm Keith Galloway. Hi, I'm Beth Boggs. And I'm Star Grady. And we're members of the 8th grade cheerleading squad. Today is the last day that we are selling fee and bus tickets for the game against Wakarusa. 7th and 8th graders can buy their tickets in the cafeteria. 6th grade tickets will be sold in Mrs. Willeman's room or in Mrs. Eberly's room. Come and cheer your team on. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeremy Walsh. And I'm Jamie Korn. Sixth grade boys red A team suffered their first loss of the season yesterday at Napanee, 39 to 20. The Bulldogs shot very well as they made shots, many shots from the 10 to 15 foot range. B team lost 18 to 12, yet they showed improvement in their second game as they displayed better floor balance and organization. Scott Huffer was aggressive on the boards as he gathered many rebounds. Troy Hendricks helped defensively, causing numerous deflections. I'm Don Drake. And I'm Aidy Gaston. Seventh grade boys increased their record to 3-0 with a win over Central Noble, 40-26. to 
Each game has been a total team effort, and the guys are working hard to support each other both on and off the court to be the best that they can be. The Knights look ahead to two dif difficult games after Thanksgiving against Walker Roosevelt and Heritage. The 8th grade boys basketball team also improved to 3-0 with a come-from-behind victory over a good Central Noble team, 51-34. to Great team play and good passing to each other changed the game around the second half to resoluting the, in the win. Both 7th and 8th grade have B games on November 26th at Walker and A games the same place on the 27th. Hi, I'm Andy Thomas. I'm Melissa Sparks. Here is your comment weather report. Current temperature is 41 degrees. The barometric pressure is 1,000 millibars and rising. The humidity is 67%. It is now foggy, but today's weather will clear up and be sunny and in the 50s. Would the student body please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Ryan Hoffman. I'm Isaac Ritter. This is your Comet weather forecast for today. Current temperature is 50 degrees. Humidity is 68%. The barometer pressure is 995 millibars. It will be cloudy and windy. It will be cloudy, windy, and warm with temperatures in the 60s. want to uh, just remind everyone as uh, kind of a follow-up announcement to uh, Mr. Jones' announcement. Our uh, movie this afternoon is uh, its a little bit of an experiment. Uh, we want to uh, experiment with this, see if our students can cooperate with the teachers and uh, have a movie just before a holiday uh, and see how well uh, things work out. I have talked to the team leaders. We have uh, had a little bit of a miscalculation on my part of the length of the movie and we're going to uh, need to start the movie at 12 o'clock uh, instead of 12.30 that we announced yesterday at the uh, staff meeting. This will mean that our sixth grade will still keep their eating time at uh, 10.30. Uh, the seventh grade will come 15 minutes early to lunch uh, at 11. And uh, the eighth grade will come at 11.30 instead of 12. I certainly apologize for uh, this late minute announcement we will try to do better on our part to calculate the length of a movie uh, but uh, we want to make sure that we have uh, time to get the movie in and also time for dismissal. Now one other uh, item that will certainly help us uh, this afternoon is if students can bring uh, to their advisory groups the materials that they're taking home uh, and not have to go to the lockers at the end of the day, then this will uh, help on uh, loading this afternoon and help our uh, hall traffic and uh, just our general dismissal uh, overall. So we're going to ask that, that students, before uh, they settle in to the advisory groups this afternoon, that they have an opportunity uh, to go to the lockers and uh, eighth grade after lunch. Uh, when we uh, dismiss you, then you will have an opportunity to go to your lockers and then to go to your advisory groups. want to also uh, mention to the teachers that may uh, be uh, housed in some uh, lab areas, uh, you certainly uh, can move your group to a more comfortable area if you uh, choose to do so uh, for the uh, movie this afternoon. Thank you. Due to a lack of student interest, our student body will not be supporting our basketball teams at the Wakarusa game on Tuesday. If you're one of the seven people who signed up for this game, you can get your money back during your lunchtime. 
If you want to show your school spirit when Wawasee plays Heritage next Thursday at North Webster, sign up for the fan bus at your lunch hour. We're sure that the basketball team would appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Schmidt. And I'm Ryan Davis. The Wawasee White sixth grade team played last night at Central Noble. The A team lost a 24-22 decision in overtime. The game was very exciting and close the whole way. Chad Fisher led the team in scoring with eight points on four for five shooting. Sean Bielen had six points and four steals. Joe Schmidt had five points and a team high 11 rebounds and three assists. Rod Holtzman was three for five from the foul line and Ryan Davis chipped in with five rebounds. The B team lost 20 to seven. The team was led by Nick Moyer who led the team in scoring, rebounding, hustle, and floor burns. Kenny Lawrence and Ori Freeman each scored a bucket. Now our next game is December 4th against New Paris, Syracuse. This time I will ask the student body to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and also for the students in the studio to come to the podium and assist me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Good morning, students. Thanksgiving vacation. We have several announcements this morning concerning student activities. Would remind all sixth grade girls who plan to participate in our sixth grade girls basketball program, your first practice is scheduled for this Friday immediately after school. So if you plan to participate, be sure and notify parents and be there for practice on Thursday. The sixth grade girls basketball coach is Mr. Zinal. Reminder to students, our cheese and sausage items will arrive one day this week. We'll be making telephone calls each morning to determine what day that will be. Be sure that uh, if you have parents calling you or people that you've sold items to, be sure and assure them that they will be delivered this week. Mr. DeWeese. I have two announcements. One to uh, first of all mention our technology uh, meeting uh, for uh, tonight. We are going to have some demonstrations concerning the technology in the building uh, tonight for parents. Want to uh, invite uh, parents to come tonight. We did send out a, an announcement on that uh, last Wednesday and hope uh, we have uh, several that will come. We are going to be operating giving a brief demonstration on the planetarium, some of the communication equipment that we have, and uh, show parents how our TV studio works. Also, we've got a second announcement. It's very important that uh, students uh, listen and make sure you understand the procedure. We have had uh, several complaints uh, and concerns about students walking home in the afternoons, and we are uh, uh, concerned about this as well. We want to start beginning today a new procedure on students that are walking home or riding bicycles uh, home. We're going to ask that you sign out in the office in the afternoon before you leave. Uh, Mrs. Ducey uh, will have a uh, pad for you to sign. Now, if you're walking home or riding a bike home, you have to have a note uh, from home either on file or have brought that uh, for that day. We really want to discourage this from uh, beginning in the first place. It is uh, extremely dangerous to walk. There are no sidewalks, and it is an uh, extremely busy highway on County Road 1000 and uh, on uh, Highway 13. But if for some reason there is a need for you to walk, then uh, we are expecting to have on file a letter uh, from home and also uh, for you to sign out in the office uh, before you leave. This will be the procedure starting today. 
We'll try to uh, remind you this for the next couple of days, and then it will uh, pretty much go into effect, and we will expect students uh, to follow this procedure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa Sparks, and I'm team captain for the comments this week. Hi, I'm Susan Anderson, I'm team captain for the comments this week. Hi, I'm Laura Smith, and I'm team captain for team one this week. Hi, I'm Karen Kuhn, I'm team captain for team one this week. Hi, I'm Shannon Boyd, I'm team captain for team three this week. Hi, I'm Lee West, and I'm team captain for team three this week. Hi, my name's Heath Kripe, and I represent the Gladic Knights this week. Hi, I'm Tony Ganser, and I'm team captain for team six, the Space Raiders. Hi, I'm Clarissa Dubois, I'm team captain for the Space Dogs this week. I'm Travis Clark, I'm team captain for Space Dogs this week. The 7th and 8th grade boys basketball B teams will play games tonight at Wakarusa. Everyone on both teams will go except the 8th grade A team, which will have a short practice at Syracuse after school. Coach Denton will drive the players to practice right after school. All players remember we are the away team and will wear red. The bus will leave from the middle school and all players should gather in the cafetorium when dismissed today. The bus will return to the middle school only after the game. Hi, I'm Emily Slabaugh. I'm Sarah Anderson. Here's your comet weather forecast for today. Present temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 67 percent. The barometer, the barometric pressure is 993 millibars and steady. Today's weather will be in the highs 50s, low 60s, really warm for the end of November. It will be partly cloudy. If the student body will please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. sign up that they would purchase certain items of cheese and sausage. Wish to remind you that when these items arrive, you will also be given the folder in which these people have signed up and the items in which they will be purchasing. We'll have additional information to you later on this week and we'll also give you the date in which the items will arrive. This time we'll have our weather report. Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Julie. Here's the comet weather forecast for today. The pressure, pressure temperature is 61 Fahrenheit. The humidity is 84, and the barometric pressure is 983 millibars. It is, clear, it is currently raining. Today will be warm for this time of year. Heights will be in the low 70s. It will be cloudy and windy with rain or on and off all day. I'm Andy Olson. And I'm Allison Lilly. The seventh grade boys B team played an exciting game last night against Wakarusa. The game had many lead changes and went into double overtime before Wakarusa finally won 36 to 33. The boys travel to Wakarusa again tonight to play an A game. Come support the team. The boys eighth grade B team came from behind in the fourth quarter to defeat Wakarusa 38 to 33. David Newcomb had the team led the team with 17 points and 11 rebounds. Brody Prather had 7 points and 8 rebounds, including a couple of clutch plays at the end. Tonight, both 7th and 8th grade A teams attempt to improve to 4-0 as they travel back to Wakarusa to take on the tough Indians. I'm Jenny Zino. I'm Whitney Filcher. I'm Michelle Snowmore. I'm oh, Michelle Rossi. We're the sixth grade girls and we're here to say If you want to have fun in a major way Then come out for basketball this Friday We'll learn to dribble and we'll learn to shoot <laughs>
Come, come out, out Friday and give a hoot. <laughs> we'll have a lot of fun and we'll learn to pass. So <laughs> come on out and get <laughs> off your bottoms. Thanks. Attention all night fans, we have exactly two days to liquidate all the fan bus tickets for the home game at North Webster this Thursday. We're passing this special on to you so that you can attend the last home game before Christmas. Hey, hey, what's the special? It's great. You buy 50 cents for a ticket, and that includes the bus ride and the admission to the game. So you mean I pay 50 cents and I get free admission and on the fan bus? Yeah. Cool, where do I get a ticket? Well, you just look for the special table at lunchtime in the cafetorium today or tomorrow, or else you can see any cheerleader. See you there. Go night. Hey, look at this. Who is it? It's Miss Ferguson from, Hun from Huntington North Vikings, a Galactic Gladiator. Man, has she changed. Well, look at Mrs. Harris. I hardly recognize her. She, she was a space dog, but now, oh my god, she, she was a Bremen Cub, but now she's a space dog. Your books are great, aren't they? Yeah. Did you order yours? Not yet. Well, you'd better hurry. Friday's the last day. They cost ten dollars for a hardcover copy of Wallace Middle School. We better tell everyone else. I'm Stacy Crap. There will be a meeting on Thursday, November 29th for students working with class pictures or sports only. Meet in room 59C from 3 to 4. We ask the student body if they'll please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For our game tomorrow at North Webster at, against Heritage, you have the opportunity to take advantage of this great deal. Pay only 50 cents for the fan bus and admission is free. This offer is for a limited time only. Take advantage of this opportunity and see a cheerleader today at lunch. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Sean. Here's your comment weather report forecast for the today. The present temperature is 42 degrees. The humidity is 62 percent. The barometric pressure is 986 millibars and rising. Today will be windy, cloudy, and colder with temperatures in the 40s. Hi, I'm Deandra Stock. Will the student body please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag 
of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Welcome to WKIN Wallace e. Middle School announcements for Thursday, November the 29th. One reminder to students, tomorrow is the first turn-in day for our cheese and sausage products. Be sure that you bring your envelopes and take them immediately to your advisor. This time, our weather report for today. Hi, I'm Brandy. And I'm Jody. Here is your Comet weather forecast for November 29th. The present temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 34%. The barometer pressure is 1,004 millibars and rising. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy with temperatures in the 30s. There is a chance of snow flurries. That's all for your Comet weather forecast today. I'm Daniel Wiggs with the student body. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Carol Walbezer. Here is your <clears throat> here is your weather forecast for today. The present temperature is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity is 66 percent. The barometer pressure is six I mean 1,600 millibars and raising. Today's weather will be cool and sunny. Heights will be in the 40s. would like to remind everyone of our uh, craft bazaar that we've got going on tomorrow with the PTO. One of the things that uh, is going to be happening in the craft bazaar is an opportunity to order uh, these real nice shirts that we have. And uh, of course, I uh, got uh, red, which is uh, my favorite color, and uh, certainly is uh, the color that you really ought to consider. Oh, wait, uh, just wait, a minute wait, 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 now. Wait, 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 wait. How can you propose red? red? Now, white is no. always the black better color. Black is the you color this year. You red and wait, black wait. on white. Yeah. How could you say black, red? Black, white, red. Look at the okay. camera. Doesn't no, black show up better, the best? Much better, much better color. Much better color. Time out. 
Uh, the boss says to get uh, red uh, shirts. Those are the best shirts to get. Please come to the uh, bazaar tomorrow from 8 o'clock till 4 o'clock. I'm Todd Valentine. And I'm Joe Shivington. Will you please stand for the pledge? <clears throat> The following students should report to the main office immediately after school. Sarah Stowers, Travis Clark, Greg Martin, Pat Tracy, John Turco, Eddie Smith, Jamie Egoff, and Jenny Detweiler. We'd like to remind students that you can still purchase your yearbook. Be sure and plan to bring your money on Monday. The cost of the yearbook is $10. The following students need to see me immediately after school by my office to pick up their cheese and sausage as they leave the building today. Lisa Mosier, James Adams, Jeremy Brenniger, Matt Stoll, Shad Hickey, D. Roberts, Lynn Druyard, Lori Mann, Joe Schmidt. Those students be sure and pick up your cheese and sausage before leaving school today. It will be on a cart and I will be beside my office to distribute it to you. Mr. DeWeese. have two announcements. One, we want to uh, follow up on Mr. Jones's announcement on the yearbook. So far, we have not sold enough yearbooks to have a yearbook at Wawasee Middle School. And uh, we are concerned that we've got some students that may be saying, well, we're going to order some extra yearbooks and I'll buy one then. We have to sell a minimum of 400 yearbooks in order to have a yearbook. Right now we're at uh, 290 yearbooks that are sold. Monday will be the last day to order. Uh, Monday we will make a de the decision of whether or not we will have a yearbook uh, for uh, this year. We are going to offer uh, for anyone else that wants to buy the yearbook, if you can bring at least a $5 deposit to reserve your yearbook, then we will accept that as part of our count. But if we do not have uh, close to 400 yearbooks sold by Monday, then the decision will be made uh, not to have a yearbook uh, this year. This is a financial uh, situation that we have to deal with, and the yearbook has to, uh, we have to sell enough in order to pay for our yearbook. So it's important if you want Wawasee Middle School to have a yearbook, then we need to support it, and uh, it will take $5 in order to reserve uh, your yearbook. Second announcement is I want to remind students, make sure that you are following the uh, procedures for uh, riding the correct bus. Uh, walkers are to sign out in the office uh, in the afternoon. We are beginning to follow up on uh, these uh, types of uh, situations. I want to make sure that you're not caught uh, in the wrong uh, situation because you've got to have a note from home if you're riding a different bus or if you're changing your normal routine of transportation in the afternoon. One Items. Thank you. have uh, two announcements. One, I want to thank everyone for their cooperation in our craft uh, show that we had Saturday. We had an excellent uh, craft show. Appreciate all the help. Uh, appreciate the teachers working with us uh, to use the tables in the classroom. Hope everything is uh, back to normal now. Also, our second announcement is we want to uh, say that today is our final day for the yearbook sales and based on our sales today it will depend on whether or not we will have a yearbook. If we have not sold uh, an adequate number to support the yearbook, then everyone will, everyone's money will be refunded. 
So uh, if you have not bought your yearbook, we uh, encourage, you, encourage you to do so today. Remember, you can put a $5 deposit down on your yearbook. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gunther Krebs, and I'm team captain for sixth grade comments. Hi, I'm Bruce Weirich. I'm team captain for team two comments. Hi, I'm Natalie Dick. I'm team captain for team four this week. Hi, I'm Tina Lane. I'm team captain for team three this week for Black Gaudi. Hi, I'm Matt Logan. I'm team captain for team three this week. Hi, I'm Chad Tom, and I'm team captain for team five this week. I'm Mike Pickett, and I'm team captain for team five this week. We'd like to congratulate the large number of students who did really excellent work on our school song contest. Today I would like to introduce the uh, winner of that contest, Jonathan Ummel. Jonathan, congratulations. Thank you. We're looking forward to hearing a great tune for our school song. Thanks to all of you who uh, contributed your efforts. Uh, they were all appreciated and reviewed very carefully. The teachers had a hard time making a selection. Congratulations again. Hi, I'm Beth Boggs. And I'm Jamie Emmer. And will student body please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Your book with at least a $5 deposit. We'll let that go through today. We're going to uh, get everything finalized so we can get a final count and know uh, exactly how many your books we will uh, be selling. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andy Thomas. I'm Brad Zerfoss. We are the winners of the Team 2 Math Problem of the Week. I'm Nathan. I'm Chad. I'm Rich. And we're from the 8th grade basketball team. We need people to sign up for the fan bus because we've only got six people that have signed up and we need 20, 19 more. I mean, that's, that's pretty pitiful if we got 700 people in our school and six sign up. So sign up today at lunchtime. I'm Larry Firestone. And I'm Eric Hammond. Will you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good.